Crank CV oscillates about point C through a limited arc, causing crank OA to oscillate about O. When the linkage passes the position shown with CB horizontal and OA vertical, this is our CB na horizontal, and this is our OA vertical. The angular velocity of CB is 2 radians per second counterclockwise. For the instant, determine the angular velocities of OA and AB. Hi everyone, this is Ed Dixman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss a topic from Dynamics of Rigid Body, another lesson under the kinematics, relative motion. So, without further ado, let's begin. The second approach to rigid body kinematics is to use the principles of relative motion. So, we will divide this topic into two the relative motion of velocity and the relative motion for the acceleration. Let's start with the relative velocity. The principles for motion relative to translating axis and apply to the relative velocity equation to the motion of two particles A and B. We have the equation V of A is equal to V of B plus V of A to B. Relative velocity due to rotation. We now choose two points on the same rigid body for our two particles. The consequence of this choice is that the motion of one point as seen by an observer translating with the other point must be circular since yung radial distance of the observed point from the reference point does not change. Itong observation ito is a key to the successful understanding of a large majority of problems when it comes to kinematics of rigid bodies. This figure shows a rigid body moving in the plane of the figure from position a b to a prime b prime during the time delta t. This movement may be visualized as occurring in two parts. First, the body translates to the parallel position a double prime times b prime with the displacement r b. And second, the body rotates about b prime through the angle delta theta. From the non-rotating reference axis x prime dash y prime attached dun sa reference point natin na b prime, Makikita natin that this remaining motion of the body is one of simple rotation about B prime, giving rise to the displacement delta R of A to B of A with respect to B. To the non-rotating observer attached to B, the body appears to undergo fixed axis rotation about B with A executing circular motion. Rotation about B with A executing circular motion as emphasized, makikita natin dito sa figure na ito, letter B, motion relative to B. Therefore, yung relationships na developed natin for circular motion describe the relative portion of the motion of point A. So, in this figure, point B was arbitrarily chosen as the reference point for attachment of our non-rotating reference axis x dash y. Point A now could have been used just as well in which case we would observe yung point B natin to have a circular motion about A considered fixed na makikita natin dito sa Figure C, motion relative to A. Makikita natin na yung sense of the rotation counterclockwise in this example is the same whether we choose A or B as the reference. And makikita rin natin na yung delta R of B to A natin is equal to negative delta R of A to B. With B as the reference point, the total displacement of A is equal to this equation. Delta R A is equal to delta R B plus delta R of a to B, where yung delta R of A to B natin as the magnitude of R times delta theta as yung delta theta natin approaches 0. Take note, the relative linear motion delta R of A to B natin is accompanied by the absolute angular motion delta theta. As seen from the translating axis x prime dash y prime, dividing the expression for delta R A, by the corresponding time interval natin at delta t and passing to the limit, makukuha natin yung relative velocity equation na v of a is equal to v of b plus v of a to b. Uh, this expression is the same with the one restriction that yung distance are natin between a and b remains constant. The magnitude of the relative velocity is the seen to be in this equation. And using this equation, yung v of a to B natin will become R times the angular velocity. And using R to represent the vector R of A to B from the first of equations natin, we may write the relative velocity as the vector 
this equation, V of A is equal to R times angular velocity, where yung, where yung, where yung omega natin is the angular velocity nga, vector normal to the plane of the motion in the sense determined by the right hand rule. So, a critical observation seen from the two figures natin from the previous page, yung B and C, is that the relative linear velocity is always perpendicular to the line joining two points in question. Yung solutions natin for the relative velocity equation may be carried out by scalar or weathering vector algebra or a graphical analysis may be employed. Example number one, the wheel of radius r is equal to 300 millimeters rolls to the right without slipping and has a velocity of v sub o equals 3 meters per second of its center o. Calculate the velocity of point A on the wheel for the instant represented. So we have our figure for this problem. Yung O natin or simply the center O is chosen as the reference point for the relative velocity equation since yung motion is given naman na. We therefore write V of A equals V sub O or the initial plus V of A and O where yung relative velocity term is observed from the translating axis x and y attached to center o. The angular velocity of AO is the same as that of the wheel. So, meron tayong linear velocity na VO, 3 meters per second, and meron tayong radius na 300 millimeters. So, solving for the angular velocity, we have angular velocity is equal to the linear velocity or simply VO over yung radius natin, this is equal to 3 meters per second over 0 0.3. Ang angular velocity natin dito is equal to 10 radians per second. So, using this angular velocity, masasolve natin ngayon yung v of, v of A and O, or ito yun. This is equal to R. R ng O natin, we have R of O is equal to 200 millimeters. So, given na sa atin itong value nito. And, this is, mumultiply natin sa theta prime. Or, yung theta prime na yan, equal nga din dito sa angular velocity natin na 10 radians per second. So, masasolve na natin itong value ng V of A and O. This is 0 0.2 times 10 radians per Second, itong 2 na yan is eto, yung 10 na yan is eto. Velocity of A and O is equal to 2 meters per second. So, this velocity is normal to AO as makikita natin sa figure. Yung vector sum VA may be calculated from the law of cosines. Kung dodrawingin natin yan, makakabutan ng parallelogram which is eto from here, papunta dun. And papaganyan, lipat natin dito, this is point A. Ito yung ating V of A, O. And this is our V of A, yung movement ng ating point A. Ito yung ating V, O. In this diagram, makikita natin na pwede natin gamitin ng law of cosines para masolve natin yung V of A. Meron tayong given na angle, we have 60 degrees. Saan ang galing 60 degrees na yun? So, we have 30 here. Kapag ka nag-move na siya, as madadouble, magiging 60. So, before we proceed to the solution of law of cosines, take note na itong angular velocity natin dito will be negative. Bakit? Yung angular velocity natin yan is directed into the paper by the right-hand rule. Whereas, yung positive direction natin is out from the paper. Hence, magiging minus sign ang ilalagay natin dito. So, pag naging negative yan, Yung ating relative velocity na V of A and O is magiging negative then of course kasi magkatuloy silang dalawa. Yung negative 2 meters per second na yan, siya yung ilalagay natin sa law of cosine solution natin. But, kung pinapahanap lang sa atin is yung value lang ng relative velocity V of A and O, positive 2 meters per second lang ang magiging answer natin. So, continuing to the law of cosine, V of a square is equal to V O square plus V of A O square minus 2 times V O times V of A 
and O, the relative velocity, cosine 60 degrees. So, ilalagay na natin yung values. We have V of A square equals, ang VO natin is 3 meters per second positive square plus negative 2 meters per second quantity square minus 2 times, ang VO natin is 3 again, times ang V of A and O natin is negative 2 cosine 60 degrees. So, this is VA square equals 19. So, therefore, VA natin is equal to the square root of 19. The value now of the velocity of point A natin is equal to 4.36 meters per second. So, this is the value for our velocity of point A and this is example number 1. Crank CB oscillates about point C through a limited arc, causing crank OA to oscillate about O. When the linkage passes the position shown with CB horizontal and OA vertical, this is our CB na, vert na horizontal, and this is our OA vertical. The angular velocity of CB is 2 radians per second counterclockwise. For the instant, determine the angular velocities of OA and AB. So the solution in this problem is so, the solution in this problem is particularly simple here since yung V of A natin and V of B are at right angles for the special position of these linkages. So, first we compute the value of the velocity of B natin. Using the equation, ito RB times the angular velocity and angular velocity ng CB natin is 2 radians per second and we have the radius na 75 millimeters or simply 0.075 yun. So, solving for VB, this is 0.075 times the angular velocity na 2. VB natin is equal to 0.150 meters per second. If we are going to draw yung directions ng ating velocity of A and velocity of B, yung velocity of A natin is moving to the right, ito yan, this velocity A, and yung velocity B natin is moving downwards. This is VB. And na solve na natin, we have 0 0.15 meters per second. Ibig sabihin, yung V of A and B natin, or yung relative velocity nila is papunta dito. This is the angle theta, and ito yung ating V of A, B. Yung vector, v, yung vector natin na V of A and B must be perpendicular to A and B. And the angle theta natin, dito sa figure between V of AB and VB is also the angle made by AB with the horizontal direction. This angle is given by tangent theta equals 100 minus 50 over 250 minus 75, this is equal to 2 over 7. Yung horizontal vector A natin, ito, completes the triangle for which we have V of AB equals VB cosine theta, trigonometric function lang yan, cosine theta, dito, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, nasolve na natin yung VB, we have 0 0.15 or 150 over cosine theta. And for the tangent function naman natin, we have V of A equals VB tangent theta. I dinerect ko na agad. So, tangent function opposite over adjacent. And ang value nito is now V of A, we have the value of VB again. 0.150 and ang tangent theta natin is eto, hindi ko na sinol directly yung angle theta natin so ilagay na lang natin dito is 2 over 7 and ang VA natin can now be solved and this is equal to 0 0.30 over 7 meters per second to solve for the angular velocity so gagamitin natin yung equation na Angular velocity equals V over R. So, V of angular velocity of AB is now equal to V 
of A and B over AB. Ang value ng V of AB natin is ito. This is 0.15 or 150 over cosine theta. And ang value ng AB natin is equal to, kukunin natin dito yung value ng ating AB. So, let's draw. To solve for AB, itong AB na to, let's consider this triangle na mabubuo natin dito. This is the AB from point A to point B. And meron tayong dito 250. Ililess natin yung 75. So, ito yun. And this is the theta. This is 250 minus 75. Cosine theta ang gagamitin natin to solve for this one, since meron na tayong isang cosine theta, cosine theta na, since meron na tayong cosine theta sa numerator natin, pwede natin siyang ilagay and ikakancel out na lang natin siya. Yung AB natin is therefore equal to, this is 0 point adjacent hypotenuse, 0 0.250 minus 0 0.075 over cosine theta. Hindi na natin kailangan ilagay or hanapin yung value ng theta since Makakasal na rin naman siya. Angular velocity of A, B natin is now equal to 6 over 7 radians per second. For the angular velocity of OA natin, let's move to the next page. Same formula ang gagamitin natin. We have angular velocity equals V over R. Angular velocity of OA is equal to V of A over line OA. Ang OA natin dito is itong part na to hanggang dito. We have already solved the value ng V of A natin which is 0 .0 0 0.3 over 7 meters per second. And ang value na lang ng OA ang kailangan natin hanapin. Ang value ng OA from the figure is simply... Given na agad, we have 100 millimeters. So, pag sinulat natin dito, this is 0 0.100 na lang in meters. Calculating angular velocity of OA natin is now equal to 3 over 7 radians per second. So, this is the value for the angular velocity of O and A. And this is example number 2.